One of the perks of my job is that we have lunch brought in a couple of times a week. On those days, we're all eagerly awaiting an email from our office manager with the link to a DoorDash order form. We have less than an hour to get our orders in, so everyone stops whatever they're doing to make their selections before it closes. And of course, we're all doing different things. I'm a late bird, so I'm usually in transit to the office during this time. So I need to make the order from my Android cell phone. And on some days I'm watching videos when the pleasant interruption comes through. So my phone is in landscape mode. Another coworker may be at their desk, plugged into a huge desktop monitor. Someone else may be in a meeting and need to use their laptop to place their order using Chrome. There'll be others in that same meeting who may be using Firefox or Safari, then of course there will be someone in the meeting who didn't bring their laptop so they'll need to order from their iPhone. Being a tester, I got to thinking, wow, that sure is a lot of configurations DoorDash has to test. All of us are accessing the same form from different browsers, devices, and viewports, and yet we all have the expectation of a flawless experience. Our lunch depends on it. For example, here's a web view of the DoorDash application. However, if we look at this same app in mobile view, we notice some differences. On the web view, the address is on the top row to the right of the menu, but on the mobile, it's on the second row and centered. The site title exists on the web view, but it's not on the mobile view at all, only the logo. The search field exists on the web view, but only the search icon on the mobile view. And the shopping cart shows the quantity on the web view, but not the mobile view. Because of all these differences, we either need to write totally different flows for the various configurations or include conditional logic for every place where the app differs. This is annoying. It's a lot of code that I need to write and maintain. The execution across all of the supported configurations is gonna take more time and is prone to flakiness. Not only that, but the tests need to execute multiple times to cover every browser or device supported. When in reality, the functionality rarely changes between these different environments. In this day and age, browsers have gotten to a point where it's rare to find a feature that works on, say, Chrome, but not Safari. That's the worst part of it all, the low return on investment. Because traditional tests are unable to find the most popular type of bug in cross-platform testing, and that's visual bugs. In examples like these, your functional tests will continue to pass even though there's something clearly wrong here. So is there a better way to do this? There sure is. Introducing Amplitude's new Ultra Fast Grid. With the Ultra Fast Grid, I don't have to worry about the various devices, browsers, or viewports when writing my test code. I write my code for just one of these, let's say Desktop Chrome, and when I'm ready for the code to test something, it uses the Amplitude's API and grabs the resources of my application in its current state and blasts that across all of the configurations that I've specified. So write the code once and it automatically runs in parallel across all of these configurations. And I use the word run very loosely here because it's not actually running all of the setup steps. I don't need that. I need to verify my app in a certain state. So the ultra fast grid skips the execution of the steps on all of these configs and instead launches the app already in its desired state across all of these configurations in parallel, which means cross-platform UI testing now becomes lightning fast. Imagine being able to quickly run your UI test across 29 browsers, devices, viewport configurations, and operating systems in only 19 seconds, finding 119 bugs. These are the findings from a blog post of an engineer who tried the ultra-fast grid. And guess what? Another engineer ran 100 UI tests and it only took 20 seconds, virtually the same amount of time it took the other engineer to run 29 tests. That's the magic of the grid. Run as many configs as you need to and it'll still take the same amount of time. Let's look at an example where we add this iPhone to a shopping cart. So we click on the product, we change the quantity to three, we add it to cart, we go to the cart page, and now we want to verify this, but we want to do it across multiple configurations. So we write our code just the once with those steps, not worrying about the different configurations 
And then we can specify that, yes, we want to run this across Firefox, Chrome, IE, and Safari in both 800 by 600 as well as 1200 by 800. And then for mobile, we'd like to do iPhone 10 and Galaxy in both landscape and portrait mode. And then running these tests on the grid, we can see that it looks like there's some failures here and the failures are on the mobile devices. So let's have a look at one of these. And yes, typical visual bug. So we see that the text is present. However, it looks like now it's outside of the viewport, which means that the user would not be able to read all of this text without possibly scrolling. Whereas it used to look like this. And in looking at what happened here, we can see the root cause analysis. Someone introduced style that is no longer wrapping and that's causing an issue for our mobile test. So there you have it folks, UI testing no longer has to be slow and cross-platform testing no longer has to be painful thanks to the Applet Tools Ultra Fast Grid. Now available to use with your favorite web automation tools such as Selenium WebDriver, Cypress, Test Cafe, and more, as well as with Storybook for React, Angular, and Vue.